Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about various effects need to be considered when we are going for the short channel transistors. What do you mean by short channel and what do you mean by short channel effects? Short channel effects will be occurred when we are reducing the size of the transistor much more smaller. So in large different FPGA families and in the previous videos, we came to know that the technology of the transistor is growing every year. That means in the previous years, we are having like a 220 nanometer technology we have seen and later it came into 90 nanometer technology and later even 45 nanometer technology and even nowadays we can see 6 nanometers and 7 nanometers are running now. That means what do you mean by the name of this technology? Suppose if you are saying one tool or a one technology is with 45 nanometer, that means it indicates length of the channel. It indicates length of the channel. Length of the channel between source and drain. Channel between source and drain. Suppose if you are taking a mass transistor like this, it is having source and it is having a drain. The distance between these two is indicated by the length. This is the now the dimension of this length of this transistor is reducing day by day. So that overall transistor size what happens it is also reducing. Okay, indirectly we are saying the technology size is reducing means length of the transistor reduces that means size of the transistor is reducing down. Okay, when we are having this small channel, what is the problem that encountered is known as short channel effects. Short channel effects. There are five problems need to be considered. Five different physical phenomena have to be considered in short channel effects. So five different physical phenomena have to be considered in short channel devices. So they are first one is drain induced drain induced barrier lowering drain induced barrier lowering and punch through drain induced barrier lowering and punch through and the second important point or important phenomena need to be considered is surface scattering surface scattering and the next one velocity saturation velocity saturation and impact ionization impact ionization and last one hot electrons hot electrons. So these are the five different problems we will be having when we are going for the short channels. So these are known as short channel effects. So if you need, if you see the names of these individually clearly, uh, drain induced barrier lowering. Barrier is nothing but channel. Barrier is nothing but channel. What we are saying from source to drain, we will be having a channel. Okay, when a current to be passed between source and drain in from drain to source some current is flowing id okay this current is flowing and that current is known as a drain current that current flows only when the channel is created between source and drain okay so that is known as the channel is known as barrier when we are giving more drain voltage because of that drain voltage drain induced barrier or channel becomes low and at some point the channel breaks down and creates a punch through nothing but no current flows and transistor enters into saturation region 
later still if you increase the more number of transistors then surface electrons becoming scattered across the surface and later the velocity of the electron increases and impact ionization problems and and electrons become hot electrons and uh, they will enter into the even into the uh, we can say insulator like oxide okay we'll tell one by one when you go into the topic you can uh, deeply understand so let us see the first uh, drain induced barrier lowering and punch through so first one dibl we can say the concept is known as di b l drain induced barrier lowering drain induced barrier lowering very easy if you see there are two voltages in your mosfet operation one is vgs and one is vds okay very easy just understand the concept what i am saying vgs is for the creation of channel vgs is for the creation of channel when VGS is greater than VT, channel is created. VGS is greater than VT, channel is created. And VDS is nothing but drain to source voltage, which is responsible for the flow of current. Which is responsible for the flow of current. Okay. That occurs when VDS must be less than VGS minus VT. VDS must be less than effective gate voltage VGS minus VT. In this situation only the current ID flows. When VDS is equal to or greater than, we can say equal to or greater than, greater than or equal to VGS minus VT, then what happens? Saturation region occurs. That means no current flow and channel starts breakdown okay that is the reason why we are having characteristics initially the ids uh, we can say ids increases with respect to the vds and later at this particular point what happens vds is equal to vgs minus vt and thereby current becomes saturated okay in this region the transistor enters into saturation region vgs uh, uh, VDS is greater than VGS minus VT and saturation region starts. So if you still increase the VDS voltage, the channel breaks down and transistor enters into punch through so that the channel is break down. Suppose if you see the diagram, see this is source, this is drain. Now initially channel will be like this when you still increasing the vds voltage channel slowly slowly closes and enters into this punch through okay channel will be closed like this so that the electrons which are traveling from source to drain electron has to travel from source to drain and current has to travel from drain to source this is the drain current Okay, so the electrons which are there in this uh, channel have to be there only because there is no flow of current. This is what drain induced barrier lowering. Uh, the drain VDS voltage it is applied between VDS is applied between drain and source. So what happens now? We are increasing the VDS voltage. This is what drain induced drain induced and it results what happens this results increasing the vds voltage resulting the reducing the reducing the channel reducing the channel this is the law barrier lowering barrier lowering okay so this is the concept called brain drain induced barrier lowering Okay, still increasing the VDS voltage makes the channel, makes the channel break down 
and no current will flow no current will flow this is what the rain induced barrier lowering now the second concept which is continuation of this problem vds see all these channel short channel effects what i have stated here drain induced barrier lowering surface scattering velocity saturation impact ionization hot electrons are these are cumulative problems of the short channels okay one is completely depending on other when vds is slowly increases and greater than the vgs minus vt then channel breaks down and no current flows so that the punch through problem occurs when if you still increasing the vds voltage the remaining problems will be coming one by one okay so surface scattering is the second problem surface scattering so in surface scattering as vds still increases as there is no channel as there is no channel because channel is broken because of higher vds voltage as there is no channel the electrons will move across the surface it is due to more mobility of mobility of electrons with high electric field with high electric field okay if you see there are two different voltages we are applying vgs and vt vd vgs and vds that we can say one is the x direction electric field x direction and the electric field in y direction here we are completely talking about the voltage which is in the y direction electric field in x direction is nothing but vgs electric field in y direction is nothing but vds so initially the channel will be like this as we are still increasing the uh, electric field in y direction nothing but vds then the channel will be broken down and then the electrons will be moving across this surface like this okay so still if you increase the, the voltage what happens these electrons will cross this junction and enters into this oxide because of their higher velocity so that comes into the higher velocity so that is known as velocity saturation and then the electron becomes hot electrons okay it is all due to a cumulative problems cumulative problems when we are going for the short channels okay uh, hot electrons and velocity saturation and impact ionization these three concepts i will explain in the next video thank you